Do you struggle with smooth playback in Premiere Pro from time to time? Maybe you think you just need a better, more expensive computer to solve this problem. Let me tell you, cache files management can be something that can make a significant difference. Cache files are temporary files Premiere Pro uses for better performance. Sometimes they get corrupted and can cause a lot of problems. Should you delete them in this case? Let's talk about how to deal with them. Be sure to allocate as much space as possible in preferences in media cache management section. Whenever possible, you should have a disk dedicated to cache files to separate them from the footage and the software. It should noticeably speed up Premiere Pro's performance. You can manually change the location for cache files in preferences, media cache. There is also media cache database, which links together media cache files with specific projects. The database is not that big, so it's not that important to move it to the external location. Still, if you have a dedicated drive, go ahead and do it as well. You can decide if Premiere Pro is supposed to automatically delete cache files based on when they were created or after a given size limit is reached. Both options are good, so choose the one that will work better in your case. If you have a dedicated drive, I would go with the second option. Remember that you can always delete cache files. This will not affect the project. Premiere Pro will just need to regenerate cache files for a given project on a launch. But if you're having issues with Premiere Pro's performance, the benefits can be potentially huge. Now, the tips about the cache files I am sharing here come from my Bulletproof Premiere Pro eBook, a set of best practices I follow to make my copy of Premiere Pro as stable as possible. I wrote this eBook because I believe that good practices are crucial. Any chef will tell you that he has specific rules for preparing ingredients, which makes his work special, efficient and unique. Once I've watched a TED talk where a guy talked about using a single paper towel to dry your hands. According to him, such practice could save over 500 million pounds of paper towel per year by Americans only. Best practices simply make a difference and I believe that practices I talk about in this ebook can reduce crashes to minimum. After all, Premiere Pro is a professional tool and just like with cars, high-end vehicles require smart use and maintenance. Ok, let's go back to clearing cache files. Sometimes this procedure alone can fix issues you're facing. Keep in mind that clean unused option in preferences deletes those cache files that are linked to clips previously deleted or moved to another location and no longer available. Due to that fact, cleaning cache files in preferences may not fix the issues that you're facing and may not get rid of the corrupted cache files. Performing this task manually will delete all cache files, even the ones that are in use in the given project. But again, this will be rebuilt once you reopen the project. Here is the process you should follow to clear cache files and preferences. Side note, synchronize your preferences to Creative Cloud app before you continue. Step number one, close Premiere Pro. Step number two, click on Premiere Pro icon to open the program. Step number three, almost immediately after clicking the icon, hold Alt plus Shift. It should clear cache files and previous project will not be visible. And if you're running Premiere Pro CC 2019 or above, it will ask you if you really want to perform this operation. Step number four, if it didn't help, which may happen, you need to manually clear cache files folder. If you've set up your own cache files folder, you know where to go to find them. If not, go to the following directory. It may look a little bit weird, but this is a directory where Premiere Pro can write files even if a user is not an admin. Once you're there, just select the folder and delete it. And that's it. By the way, if you would like to reset preferences alone once you deleted your cache files manually, you can do it by holding Alt on the keyboard after clicking on Premiere Pro's icon. In a second, I will share another shortcut to restart Creative Cloud app. If you feel like your copy of Premiere Pro is not running as smoothly as possible, give it a go and order my ebook at cuttothepoint.com forward slash ebook one. It contains tips like the ones in this video and some other best practices you want to follow in your editing workflow. My goal with this ebook is simple. I want you to take a few hours of your time, read through it and highlight sections 
that may require action on your end. Deal with these sections later to improve your workflow and become one of happy, well-sleeping editors. Hopefully it will change the way you work and you will be able to spend your time on actual edit rather than troubleshooting. This is my focus in this ebook. I want your copy of Premiere Pro to be robust, to minimize crashes and prevent loss of data or days of work. So let's save you time and headache in the future. Here are some opinions I got from my first readers. I also give you 14 days money back guarantee because no two cases are the same and potentially even best practices may not solve your issue. So if for some reason before 14 days pass you wish I refined your purchase, I will do it, no questions asked. Okay, time for the last tip in this video. If you want to force restart of Creative Cloud app, open it and hit Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus R. It may help if you're facing any synchronization issues or if any other Adobe app is not behaving in a normal way. I don't use this one often, but it has solved a problem I've had in the past. Now go and set up your cache files and get a copy of my ebook. It was Peter until the next time. Shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.